Be pleasing. I don't like it at all. Do you hear that? What's up guys? It's your girl Cindy T. Long time no see coming at you with yet again another video. As you can already tell, today I'm going to be trying the new Cheetos Mac and Cheese. So last week I saw this article roaming around Facebook probably around new Cheetos Mac and Cheese that was not available in store, only available online at Walmart I believe. So definitely had to get it and it was not easy let me tell you. So I was able to get these two easy, no problem. I have here the Cheetos Cheesy Jalapeno and the Cheetos Bold and Cheesy Mac and Cheese. This one sold out so fast. Of course the Flame and Hot flavor sold out so fast I was only able to get it in this microwavable version. But you know what? better than nothing so here we are I have all three flavors like I said the what is this one the cheesy jalapeno this one is bold and cheesy and this one is the flaming hot the way I'm definitely about to get into it and taste each of them I am very excited because I love mac and cheese any of my friends will tell you you can ask them Mac and cheese and me is like like this. Like I freaking love mac and cheese. All right, first bite. I'm gonna get into the what is this? The jalapeno. What is it called? Cheesy jalapeno. All right, so I'm gonna get into this cheesy jalapeno right over here. And I have chopsticks because I thought that would. I don't know what I thought when I brought chopsticks for this. Okay, let me take another bite before I assess. Maybe even another bite. Don't judge my chopstick game either. I'm not a professional. So this is good. I'm not getting any jalapeno. Like this isn't jalapeno-y to me, not spicy really. But it is good. But to be honest, I've never met a mac and cheese I didn't like. So I might be a little biased. Mm. Actually, you know what? The more you eat, the more you can definitely get the, the little kick. But it's not really overwhelming. It's not too bad. I really want to get into the flaming Hot. Alright. Let me mix it around. Do you hear that? Oh yeah. All right, let me get a little closer. Mmm, still hot. Woo, I meant hot temperature-wise, but you know what? That flavor, that heat is definitely coming in. Oh, yeah. Honestly, there's no flavor to it. It's just heat. I don't really taste any flavor. Again, still a noodle I would eat. It just tastes like spicy noodles to me. I'm not really getting any cheese flavor. So it's like that cheese part of the mac and cheese is lost. Leaning more towards a flaming Hot noodle. Just mac, no cheese. Not bad. Could use more cheese, but not bad. Alright, now I'm going to get into this one. Which I think honestly is going to be most true to like what a mac and cheese is. This bold and cheesy flavor. It smells literally just like a puff Cheeto. Like just like a puff Cheeto. So I feel like that will trans translate over to like a mac and cheese very nicely. I'm like a mac and cheese connoisseur over here right now. Mmm. All right, you know what? Do you know what? This is the best one. I'm gonna say it. This is the best one. If you, I like myself, 
and are a fan of the mac and cheese, this one is for you. It's the most true to what mac and cheese is. And honestly, it tastes just like Puff Cheetos. So it smelled like Puff Cheetos, but now that I'm tasting it, it tastes exactly the same. Like if you lick your fingers after eating a bag of Puff Cheetos, this is what it tastes like. That's exactly what I'm getting from this. Mmm. Alright. I've tried all three. I do want to go over again just to compare. It's for science. For science purposes. For science. This is still good. Still good. Ugh. Honestly. Eating this one, I don't know which one is my favorite now. Can't really tell. So the bold... I'm gonna keep forgetting these names. Bold and cheesy. Very rich. It's good, but it's very rich. Very thick. This cheesy jalapeno... It has the most balance most balanced out of all three of these and it looks the least intimidating I would say. It looks more the most like regular mac and cheese. Like this orange it doesn't look like it exists in nature. This is a lot. But this this is the most balanced out of the three. Again, really good. Really rich, but maybe leaning too rich. Doesn't have enough of that breakup. This which is where I imagine where the most hype went into considering it was the first one sold out in like the regular box form. Kind of a letdown. And maybe that's why it tastes a little different to me because it's the microwave version and not the not the box like these. More impressed over here. Leaning towards this side. Alright, well, I'm done trying these. But someone else while I was making these, these was really adamant about trying them. And that person, you guys have not met yet, Mama T, my mom, she was begging me to just give her some. And I was like, you have to wait. Wait till I end the video. So I'm going to let her try these. I'm going to see if she'll let me record her reaction. Stay tuned because it's coming up right now. All right, we're here with my mom, Mama T, and she's going to give us her reaction of the Cheetos mac and cheese. So, Mom, I have... These are the jalapeno ones. Okay. Cheesy jalapeno. This is bold and cheesy. And this one is flaming hot. So flaming hot Cheetos is like the representing flavor. This is not aesthetically pleasing at all. This doesn't look good to you? No. Well. <laughs> I didn't even know that there was a difference between these two. They look very similar. Okay. Which should I try first? Um, let's do it in the order I tried them. So you try the jalapeno one. This, this one. That's the jalapeno one, yeah. One. You can tell it's a little lighter in color. Okay. Mm. Okay, thoughts, comments, concerns? Yes. Yes, good. Wow. Really? Okay, you're having very... a really positive reaction to that. Mm-hmm. Good? Yeah, I definitely want more. All right, don't fill yourself up on that. We got two other mm. flavors to try. I'm so All right, so next I tried this one. Go ahead and try this one. That was very good. Try this one. Go ahead. This is the flaming Hot. It's not hot. It's not, right? It has a little, like, eat more. You'll feel something, but it's not overbearingly. It's not... Okay, this... I would never eat this again. <laughs> no. No? Oh. That's no. what I thought. It wasn't that I like good. heat. It's not flaming Hot. Not tasty. No. How many stars? From one to... One to five. Between this one and this one, five and one. One star, really. Yes. All right, so last, uh, the bold and cheesy. This orange one, it's a little orange here, you can yeah. tell. Yeah. Bold and cheesy? Bold and cheesy. Maybe I'm just making it up, but this one was definitely focused on being cheesy. It's what I would expect from mac and cheese. That is exactly what I said. This is the most true to a mac and cheese. Yes, mac and cheese. Now, one, two, zero. 
Wow, that's the place you give it one, two, and not even I, like, contending. I this. I, it's not aesthetically pleasing. I don't like it at all. Wow, that's I would a never have that bold again. statement. Yes. So for you, this is the cheesy one, number one, the jalapeno, number two, flaming hot, not even in the race. Correct. All right, so mine is kind of similar. Um, I put this one number one. Thought the acidity broke it up nicely, whereas this one was too rich. This was one number two. And I think we agree that this one is just terrible. It shouldn't Absolutely. be a thing. Absolutely. Yes. All right, great. Well, Mama T has spoken. Thank you very much for your feedback. You're very well. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Bye.